Hello students. Now we'll solve the fifth question of exercise 2.2, and here we have to just simplify this question. This question can be done in many ways, but we'll follow some of them. The first is that of means multiply. So we'll simply multiply these numbers. First of all, we'll multiply 24 with 1 upon 2, and then we'll multiply 46 with 1 upon 2. That will be 23, and that will be 12. This is the first method. The second method is, as we all know, that 1 upon 2 means half. Supposingly, if you are having 10 rupees, and if I say that you have to half the money, so you will say obviously 5. So similarly, here the total is 12, we have to half 24. So 24 half will be 12, and 46 half will be 23. Now, the third way is that you can take this 24 like the questions we did previously means supposingly we say that 24 is the total out of 24 means out of 2 1 part is shaded this is the third method out of 2 1 part is shaded so out of 24 obviously 12th part will be shaded and the last method is that means the fourth method is that 1 upon 2 is there you make it equals to 24. So obviously, that if the denominator will be 24 when multiply and divide it with 12, so that will be 12 by 24, which means that if totally there are 24 parts, 12 will be shaded. So these are the four methods, but the simplest is the first method. That we of means multiplication. So we'll multiply 2 upon 3 with 80 and then 2 upon 3 with 27. So 2 upon 3 will be multiplied with 18 and then 2 upon 3 will be multiplied with 27. 3 9 times that will be 18 and 3 6 times that will be 12. Now the third part will multiply 3 upon 4 with 16. 4 times that will be 12 and then we will multiply 3 upon 4 with 36 that will be 27. And now the last part, we'll again multiply 4 upon 5, first with 20, 5 4 times, that will be 16, and then we'll multiply 4 upon 5 with 35, that will be 7 times, and the answer will be 28. So it's your choice, which method you want to follow, these are the four methods, and this is how you can solve this question, thank you.